All right, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the show. Okay, this is a quick promo uh, and a quick up to date. Um, this is uh, sort of like a continuation of a holiday show. Uh, what happened was supposed to be a repeat in December, and it got they didn't play it for some reason, and it got bumped off to uh, last week for the beginning of the year. It was supposed to be a new show there. What happened? They closed down the studios again because of the whole pandemic thing going on. So. Um, I should have been on top of that. So, that show hopefully uh, is repeated this weekend, uh, the weekend of the 8th, the 7th, 8th, 9th. Uh, starting on the 10th, I'm going to start updating it to this little channel over here for YouTube. Okay? Uh, so, if you saw the show on Saturday, uh, the, um, on the 8th, and uh, you were wondering what's going on, here we are. Uh, January, there's nothing on. Morpheus got bumped off. Scream, nobody cares about. Um, so it, it just kind of like a little up to date. But in the week of the tenth, uh, I'm going to start doing a, a lot of uh, mini videos. So this is a little continuation of that holiday show, just to give you an update. Um, what you call it? We're waiting to see the final tally on Spider-Man. Yes, I've been updating my Lego collection. I got this right. Yeah, yeah, doc doc. I mean, it was great having all those Peter Parkers and five villains and oh, they got all the original actors coming back. Uh, the movie has broken the top 10 um, in the U.S. and worldwide. But where it's going to land, uh, maybe like a six and seven. Right now, I need like another, jeez, another hundred, couple hundred million dollars to beat the Avengers first movie at number five. It's a long stretch. So we're not going to predict anything until... We get the numbers from this weekend, and then I'll start reporting next week, the week of January 10th. Anyway, uh, and of course, the movie that everybody thought was going to razzle the, the box office. Eh, Keanu signed for one movie only and his contract. So I think he had an idea what was going to happen. That it was going to tank. And he's going right back to John Wick. Okay? Um, and of course... Um, there's a lot of other things. Yes, I've been I've been updating my Lego collection. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what anybody says. It's a, a little bit, uh, yeah, small, many eight pieces. It doesn't look anything but the Red Squares. But you get a little Mandalorian uh, writing the thing there. The model is on the side. I'm going to be spreading them out. Uh, what's happening is when the studio has been closed, they're eventually going to move. And I don't know when that's, that's going to happen. Uh, sometime in springtime. Um, so we're gonna lose those uh, that well that particular studio, and we're gonna see what the new location is. So you're gonna get a lot more of these, and then I put some kind of repeat up there. I might maybe do a combination of these little mini videos and just to put them up there. Um, but this weekend, Golden Globe Awards, nobody cares. They're not even broadcasting it. Uh, for me, my little prediction is, which I'm really pissed off because I know it's not gonna get it, but I would tell him more about the story. Um, this is a scene from Coda. Amelia Jones and Troy Kutzer, if I'm saying that right, for Best Supporting Actor. She didn't get nominated. She spent 10 months practicing uh, American Sign Language and uh, singing. And, you know, she comes from uh, the Broadway and English uh, or British stage, should I say. And uh, uh, Troy uh, Kutzer, he has uh, his own uh, uh, theater company, believe it or not, in sign language. Um, and he, he was fantastic. He, uh, he got nominated. Hopefully, he wins. The picture got nominated for best. Uh, uh, got nominated for best picture, but no director, no writing. So it doesn't have a chance in hell. Unfortunately, uh, for me, this is the best picture. Um, Power of the Dogs. Uh, that's uh, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, Doctor Strange. Uh, you know, he beats up a horse. That's not entertainment. Um, the other movie, um, I forget the name. The, you know, forget, who cares. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, West Side Story probably would get it from one of the actresses. Um, I want to try to get it. Um, as far as Best Picture and Best Writing, it, it should go to, um, to Kenneth Braga, uh, for Belfast. And as far as everything else, who cares? Um, real quick mini review. 355, that uh, old action uh, chick flick that's going up against Spider-Man this weekend. Uh, some people liked it. I thought it was okay. I saw it uh, last night. The problem is the film is five years old. Let me give you a little trivia. 
Um, nobody's talking about this. I'm surprised. Okay. Sammy Kernberg was uh, the director. I'm just getting my notes here real quick. Oops, sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Anyway, uh, Sammy Kernberg, he directed Dark Phoenix with Jessica Chastain. That was five years ago. And she uh, uh, told him, she, she pitched an idea. He liked it. How about an old female gang of like um, assassins and secret agents and all that? Uh, she said, how about uh, Mission Possible meets James Bond? Everybody's calling it Ocean's Eleven um, meets uh, Jason Bourne or the Bourne Identity, you know, the Matt uh, Damon uh, series. For me, but my problem with the movie is the girls are good, the, uh, the editing is sloppy, like Jason Bourne and the camera work is all over the place. Did anybody learn, I mean, she mentions James Bond, did anybody learn from Quantum of Salas? That's not the way to go. The film is five years old. It was sitting in, in the, on the shelf there. Universal spent over twenty million dollars on this, believe it or not, to get the rights, and took them five years. So this has been sitting there for for years, and it finally released it right in the dead of winter. Go figure that out. Uh, if you're curious, if you're a fan of what's the, what's the name of the movie Gunpowder Milkshake, Michelle Yeoh, Karen Gillan, Carlo Gugino, and Laura Headley. Uh, that was great. That was kind of based on the Boondot Saints. Remember that movie? And that's the kind of style. But if you like a bunch of chicks getting together kicking ass, then that's good. Uh, then you, you're like 355. Beware of the camera and the editing. It, it, the first half, it just gave me a, a headache. A lot of action. The girls are good. So, uh, wait for streaming. Okay, that's it, folks. I'm out of here. Because the sooner I finish this, the sooner I can post this. And then I can work on the music. Um, yeah, I'm up TikTok. I'm playing a theme on a keyboard. See if you recognize it. I got a TikTok video. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, of course, um, you know the little buttons around here somewhere. You, you see, uh, yeah, you see Instagram, Facebook, uh, Pinterest, TikTok. That's a video playing. I just recorded it this afternoon. Okay, folks, that's about it. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for tuning in. Lots of videos coming up and a lot of surprises. And hopefully, uh, I'm building a brand new studio in my apartment, and let's see how that works out. And that way we can get rid of this backdrop. See you next time, folks. Thanks for tuning in.